2015. To me, it really didn't mean much. I was still in college, and like most YouTubers with under a thousand subscribers, I had very little experience with making videos, and I was just pushing them out there, hoping they'd get views. <laughs> but, at the same time, 2015 was a year where YouTube was peak entertainment. We had content creators like Keemstar, Drama Alert, Oh fucking righteous fucking nigger! While me, I was pretty much still doing Slenderman videos at 3am that no one even watched. So I was walking there, we walked around it for some reason, so when we turn around it's gonna be right there. Sorry, sorry. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus fuck! That being said, YouTube was also contending with other popular influencers. Roadmen channels. Now I know this topic has already been done to death, but it's 2022. We've had COVID-19 basically terrorising the world for the past two years. It's basically mandatory for people to dress like roadmen now anyway. Otherwise, big boy Boris won't invite you to his cheese and wine party. So instead of just like bullying these channels, I thought I'd actually, you know, recap what they've been doing and like show you exactly what kind of content they've put out. If you haven't already, which is most of you, please consider subscribing. It helps me wiggle through the YouTube algorithm and get views because, as you can see, I'm not really doing that well. <laughs> right, let's crack on then. So there isn't really a main focus for this video, like a channel in particular. So these channels are all known for their apparent pranks. What? 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 What are we gonna do? He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. 24 hour challenges. <laughs> and exploring abandoned buildings. We like it. So, as you would guess, everyone just jumped on the bandwagon. Fuck's sake! As you would guess, everyone just jumped on the bandwagon to roast them. You could say I'm doing that now, but like, it's been seven years and nobody really cares anyway. The thing is. While I was making this video, I kind of sort of changed my direction of what I was going to do because originally I was going to just like, you know, take the piss or whatever, you know, basically just copy Pyrocynical or someone like that. But the more I've like looked into this and the more I've like I've sort of deep dived into the, the behind the scenes of what really went on, the more I've realised that there's actually a lot more to these videos than just, you know, minimum effort work. The closer you get to the end of their timelines on their like channels, the more you see less of each other. I know that Yusuf Amadi and Carnage had beef with each other. They both really fell out, <laughs> is the easiest way to say it. I, I came across this video here, and it's basically just a backwards and forwards of them you know, having a go at each other and whatnot. But it's interesting because the road men, you know what I mean? You wouldn't think, oh, you know, like, the beef would be interesting. you think, oh, it's just petty backwards and forwards, you know, like BG Media sort of stuff. Like, I know that they fell out, and as soon as they fell out, both channels kind of went a bit dark for a while. Uh, Yusuf doesn't upload that often anymore, but Carnage has completely stopped uploading. Uh, his, his actual channel's not even available anymore. I had to, like, find a duplicate channel that someone had made, like, in his honour or something. <laughs> Before I continue with the video, I just want to point out that even though I'm talking about these channels in a negative light to some people, I don't want hate directed to the channels that are still up. Even though the beef between them is probably long gone and dead, I don't want stuff like this to resurface. And yes, I know I'm talking about it in the video, but it's for the sake of the video to help viewers understand. Whereas, you know, directly going there to cause problems for these channels is completely different to what I'm doing. To start the story off properly, our four main protagonists, Vijama, or Alex, Alex, Lord Omar, Carnage, and Yusuf Amadi were all small YouTubers who jumped on the hype train for exploring abandoned buildings and sucking up all that sweet, sweet YouTube revenue. From the way they acted on camera, you'd assume they were probably all going to be friends forever and just like regularly upload. Well, no. As I mentioned earlier, that Carnage and Yusuf are no longer friends, and it appears the same for Omar and Alex. But what caused it? I'm not really sure, but I'm going to piece it together as best as I can. Roughly in 2016, a year after the channels blew up, beef started between Carnage and Yusuf. It's more or less a he said, she said, so I can't exactly 
gather what's true and what isn't. But to sum it up, there's a lot of conflict between the two for copying each other's videos and both of them getting really personal about each other's family and girlfriends and you know things like that over social media. I'm not going to pick sides because I want this video to be a non-biased objective view. So if you're really interested and want to know more, you can literally just look up Carnage versus Yusuf Ahmadi on YouTube and a video or a few videos will probably appear. Not long after the beef between Yusuf and Carnage, Carnage's channel was shut down. This could be due to numerous things such as like copyright and third right party takedowns because some of the videos where he attempted to do 24 hour challenges, the owners of said businesses or people who you know worked for these businesses may have seen the videos and decided to take them down because obviously you know a bad rep if they're easily broken into by children. There's a rumour that apparently the person who owned the channel originally, because believe it or not, Carnage did not own the channel. The views that came with it were already on that channel. There's a rumour that the channel was claimed back by the original owner and then deactivated on their end. I can't really find anything out about that that's true. It's just rumours. Since then, Carnage hasn't made another channel. And like I mentioned earlier, there's only a fan channel that's up that someone's made. So do with that information as you will. Lord Omar, he was friends with Alex and Vijammer, he was also friends with Carnage. He also disappeared around about the same time, except uh, he deleted his channel. I don't know for what reason why Omar actually deleted his channel, but I'm guessing, and I'm only guessing now because I've got a theory later on, that to his career he's probably deleted it, and that's probably the easiest excuse for why. Alex kept uploading until June 8th, 2017 with a 3 a.m. with <clears throat> with a 3 a.m. challenge and since then nothing. Leaving only Yusuf to be the last person to upload up until March 31st in 2021. So here's my theory. After the hype died down for exploring abandoned buildings, I reckon all of them couldn't decide what to do next and what really was the best way to approach keeping the channels alive. When hype dies, normally the channels attached to hype die with them. It happens. Yusuf kept his channel going the longest, and obviously with the decline of views, he probably chose something else to follow instead, which is probably why he hasn't uploaded in such a long time. So as of right now, in 2022, Carnage now runs, or did run, a website called TurnedDance.com. I think I said that right? Which, while recording this video, has just randomly gone offline. It basically had a compilation of like TikTok dances and stuff like that for easy viewing. I don't know. But there is, um, there's an Instagram page still up for the website, and he still uploads to it. Lord Omar now goes by the name Kiko, or Keko, and apparently he's a rapper now. So there's that. Alex, well, I don't know, because I couldn't find out anything about him. Yusuf has a second channel where he talks about cryptocurrency, so I'm guessing there's probably another source of income for him there. So to sum up really, um, these YouTubers have basically done all they can on the platform and just moved on to other things. It's not bold to assume that they aren't friends anymore, but you know, that's life. It happens, you know. <laughs> the lesson to be learned here is that regardless of how well you're doing on YouTube now, your channel could end up like theirs. You know, just trying to stay relevant and keep a positive fan base can be a lot to handle. And it does put a lot of people off wanting to actually be a content creator. Like me included, I stopped uploading for years and then I've just come back now. It's a shame because a lot of people in particular really enjoyed these channels content. I mean, I personally didn't, but you know, looking back on them now in 2022 has been very educational for me. And it's gave me a lot of insight how I could grow my channel really as well. So thank you for watching. Um, see, I'm still new to doing all this. so. <laughs> Uh, it'd be really good if you left a like on the video, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want me to do more of these videos, you could comment down below, it's up to you. Um, if you want me to do something else completely different, again, just leave a comment. Uh, that's it, I guess. So, thanks for watching.